everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project um, is another fence. Uh, these have been so popular that I thought I would take one more week and do another variation of the fence. This is a little mask fence using the Molotow uh, masking fluid. So uh, we're gonna use this again for this week's project and just do another little uh, springy fence project uh, just like this. So let's get started. We're going to use um, the little birdhouse from Project Series 7, this one right here. Uh, we're gonna use these little leaves from the Covered Bridge mini set. And then I'm using this little long stem uh, from the flower cart, but you can use any long stem that you have. That's, that's not important that you use that specific one. Uh, in the flower set, we're gonna use the little daisies, the little filler flower, and then in the foliage set, the small grass and the vine. Okay, so let's get going. I went ahead and drew in my fence. Uh, I've done this on other videos so you can see exactly how to do it. So just for time's sake, I went ahead and put this in already. So I just took my masking uh, pen and just drew some lines in and a line across. And by the way, you wanna make sure that these are really, really dark so that there's no white showing through. So I have, um, I make a couple of coats on here. If I think that there's some white showing through, I'll wait till that dries and I'll put another coat on just to make sure that that's really, really covered. Okay, so now let's start out with the little birdhouse. We're gonna use this one and we're gonna set this little birdhouse up on top of the fence. So I wanna use my positioner just to make sure that I get this in the right place. So I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna use the number 40, so that's the brownish gray. And I don't need the whole thing. So I'm, I'm gonna make two sizes, a long one and a short one. And so I'm just gonna use the, just the, the birdhouse part, not the little pedestal here. And just stamp that in there like that. So now I can see exactly where to put it. And I'm gonna put this one kind of on the, just over a little bit like this. Not really in the center, but off to the side a little bit. And then I'm just gonna re-ink that again. And just stamp that right in here. We're gonna set these little birdhouses right on top of the fence. Okay, so now the next one's gonna be smaller, so I'm gonna take part of this ink off. And I'm just gonna ink the small part, so just the first section of the birdhouse. And I'll use my positioner again and make sure that I get this right where I want it. So I'm just gonna set this one down a little bit lower, just like this. Place that back in here like that. I love that these things are so versatile. Okay, so we've got two little birdhouses sitting on top of our fence. So let's just uh, start out by pulling the color out of the lines. We'll go, go back later and add some color to these. But let's just do this little step first. So we're just dragging some of this color out of the lines. Just like this. This is always the first step. Pull that color out. And this is a pretty light color, so it's it's not gonna have a lot of color coming out of here. Make sure you don't cross the horizontal lines. That's that's always a must. Never drag your brush over the over the lines. You always want to stay in those sections. Okay, so that's a good start. So let's go on from there and we're gonna add our little foliage now to the fence. And we're just gonna kind of put this wherever. A little bit here and there some over to the side. We can stamp some up in here. Like this. And maybe just a couple more out here. Okay, so now we're gonna add some water to that. And just kind of blend this up. You can take your time with this and get every one of these little leaves, or you can just go fast and get the water on here quick. Just jump your brush around. I'm usually always in a hurry, so I never get each individual leaf. But it really doesn't matter because by the time you add the water to it, it's just, it looks like a little, um, it looks like a little painting. So that doesn't matter. Drag some of this color over here. Okay, so let's add some more flowers in now. We're gonna take the little uh, daisy bunch, this one, and we're gonna ink it, this is the number um, 101, so this is tropical. 
and we're just going to get some of this color in here. It's going to feel a little weird to stamp over this masking fluid, but um, don't let that stop you. It's going to turn out so cool. Just get some of this color in here. You can go above the fence a little bit. You can go out here. Okay. And that fence is going to be all protected. So it's going to be all white underneath there. And then again, just dab, dab at these lines. I want to make sure we get enough color in here so that when we do rub off that masking fluid, uh, we can see where those white lines are. So we do have to have enough color in here so we can see that. Okay, so let's move on. We're going to go to the long stem now. So we're going to ink that with two colors. I'm using the number, uh, this is number 100 Sapphire. And I'm going to get the blooms with this. And then I'm going to use the number 72 green and get the stem. And just start putting this in in the background. Stamp it a bunch of times before you re-ink it again. Make sure you do that. It's really important to get the lights and the darks in there. That's what makes it look three-dimensional. And we don't want it to look like a stamp. That's what we really don't want. We want it to look like a little painting when it's all finished. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's dip our brush in water again and just touch all these little blooms. That's the cool thing about adding water to these long stem too because it changes the shape of these little blooms. You'd never guess uh, that this was a stamp. It just kind of saturates that color and just blends and see how the light ones they just kind of fade back and the dark ones they come forward and that's what we're going for and so quick and easy just so fun to do okay so we've got our little long stems in the background and let's add some grass in and some more little flowers so we're going to use the small grass now and we're going to use that same number 72 and just put a little of this across the bottom. Just stamp it all the way across. Remember, ink once and stamp a bunch. Just kind of walk it along and then come back with the water and pull that color up and out. Remember, this is the brush stroke. Pull that color up and out. Okay, let's add some more flowers in here. This is the little tiny, um, little. they look like little hearts, but they're actually little leaves, but they work great for flowers as well. They just work great. We're getting all of these little guys in here. So what we're doing is just, we're just putting a lot of color in the background. And we're gonna add our water to it now. So this is why you want to make sure that that masking fluid is really on there good. You have enough um, masking fluid so that it doesn't bleed through. Okay, we've got all of our background in here. So let's add some color now to the um, to the little birdhouses. We're going to do that from the palette. So I'm going to put some color on my palette. This is the number 101. The tropical and this is the sapphire the blue dip our brush and let's put some color on the roof too so this is the this is the brown gray the number 40 and I'm just gonna mix a little bit of the sepia with it just mix that together make it a little darker and just brush this color on It's really dark in here where these little openings are. That would be really dark. And let's take the darker color is um, going to be on the side. 
So this in here, this is going to be darker. And again, remember, we don't want to cross those horizontal lines. So I'm going to do each section by itself. And this can be pretty light on the front because that's kind of where the sun is. So we want to keep that light. And we'll get some of this color in here. Kind of fun. And you can just keep building this color. So just keep adding it. It's going to get darker every time you put it on here. And you can just make it as dark as you want. Add some more of this blue in here. And this would be really dark back in here. And I'm going to take my um, my fine tip. This is the blue, and I'm going to really darken these little these little openings in here. And you can also come in here and make something a little decorative on there. Do that again with the number 101. So just kind of make a little decorative um, de decorative highlight on there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take our uh, masking fluid off now. Make sure that everything is dry before you take this off too. I don't wanna blend that, make that ink bleed. And this comes off really easy. You just rub it off with your finger. And you can see we have our little fence showing through. So let's add a few more of the grasses in the front. This is the tiny grass again. We're just adding a little bit more in here. We want to see the fence in the background, but we want to show the the, um, the grass kind of coming through. So just in a few areas. And we're going to bring that color up again. So you can see that grass looks like it's growing kind of in between the fence posts. And then we're going to come over the top now with that purple again. So we can see the little flowers in the background but we can also see them in the foreground. And I'm just kind of going an up and down motion. Just one, two, three, four, five. Super cute. They look so natural. You never guess it was a stamp. And that's what I love about it. I love that you can do this. I love that you can do it quickly. And I love that it looks so natural. It looks like a little painting. Nobody would ever know. And honestly, the more that you play with these, the better at it you're gonna get. I promise you that. Let's pull a little of this color down. Now remember, we don't want this fence to look flat. So we wanna put a little color on it. And we're gonna do that with the number 86, so the African Violet. So we're gonna put a little of this onto the palette. And we're just going to take a little of this color and make a line down the side of the post. This is so important. This is what kind of pops it out and makes it look like it's three dimensional. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Not every post has to be the same. I think it's better if it isn't. And just kind of brush this on. Take your time with these. I'm always in a hurry because I'm trying to get the, I'm trying not to go over about 15 or 20 minutes, but you can take your time on these. They're easy to travel with. Doesn't take a lot of stamps. This one especially didn't take very many. And you can use a lot of the things that you have. Just because I'm using a specific long stem on this, doesn't mean that any of your other ones won't work. They will. And try your own variation of colors. These things are so versatile. Okay, we've got our little fence post. You can see how that just really pops that up. And now we can see an actual fence post on here. Make sure you get this underneath too. Okay, that looks pretty good. One thing left to do, and that is to sign and date your work. Put it on a card, 
or put it in a frame and give it away to someone. You will really make someone's day with this. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.